It's Conviction, and I'm back with another video with some really good gameplay, some cheese plays by him. And for some reason, it was a really good game to start and a really bad one to end. Hmm. Sounds like the Giants season, and I'm a Giants fan, so that's saying a lot. But let's hop back to it. You know, he did not get the ball first, so we're just going to sit here on defense, pick plays, try to stop him, do what we can. Um, and also for a lot of you guys requesting for the tournament, you don't have to remind me on every video. I do see every comment. I do see every tweet, Twitter message, whatever you want to call it. I do get it as well as tokens are both seeing everything you guys are posting to me. It's all going to be randomized. There's no favorites in it. I myself am in the drawing. I myself have not even picked myself. I'm not doing the drawing myself. I'm having an outside party do it so we all have a good chance of getting in. Yes, it's still 100k. I'm about 135k to whoever wins. If we want to be politically correct. And I'm sorry my commentaries aren't the greatest. I am also quite sick and that guy was not that smart to try to run that QB rap on me. It just does not work. Watch enough of Toke's videos and play Toke enough and you'll know. It will not happen again. Somehow he still got through. I mean, to go on a little bit further, guys, this tournament, yes, as most of you are from Zar's channel have seen, there's eight overall seeds. Toke and Zar both automatically get it because, you know, I know you guys want to play with your favorite YouTubers and stuff like that. It will be a challenge. They're not going to verse each other right away. If they're going to play each other, they're going to have to go through you guys. I plan on making them separate seeds on separate places. I don't know exactly who's number one and who's number two or eight or where they're going, but I don't know. I'm also running through a couple other ideas. And by the way, that was a go to sleep. And he definitely went to sleep and gave Paz Luzni the ball. I'm also figuring out a way to, instead of choosing just six of you guys, to pull in different ways to do it, to try to choose. It's quite hard. I don't want anyone to have hurt feelings or be offended. But it is randomized. I'm not doing the choosing. And look at this run. Look at this. He didn't know what to do. Oh, I broke one guy's ankle and he broke the other guy's. We're just going to keep driving up this field, by the way. But uh, nobody has some hurt feelings. Keep watching the gameplay because this isn't the only tournament that will be ran. They might not always have Zar or Toke. I'm going to switch it up a lot. I'll also be picking up the Xbox One and PS4 in the next couple of months. And also running tournaments and showing gameplay from there. But I'm not going to get rid of the 360 because I still play it. Regardless of what system I have. By the way. Ouch. On that hit. We're going to go back at it. He thought he could throw the ball. It did not work. And he's going to fail and give us back the ball. And we're going to sit here and we're going to give the ball straight to Charles. And I thought I was done for. I thought that was a loss of yards. We're going to go back at it. Who are we going to pass it to? None other than Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson, that is the 94, by the way, guys. He's pretty cheap. I consider him a budget myself. Most of my players really aren't that expensive. Most of them are around 20k at most. There's Calvin's expensive, that new um, Marshawn Lynch, that RG3 are the most expensive cards on my team. That Landry, I sniped his cards and I'm pretty sure I built him for less than 10,000 coin when he came out. He was a great pickup to put on a next to Antrill roll. By the way, that was another Deshaun Jackson bomb. You gotta watch that when you play me. Look at this run. Look at this run. This is probably my favorite run I've ever seen of me. I don't even know how I did it or why I did it. It was just a great run. But back to it, guys. There's a lot of players you can pick up for cheap. I know if you guys are struggling cornerback-wise, and you guys can get your hands on a D. Milliner fantasy card, I rocked him until about three, four weeks ago, and he was just that good. I mean... There's cornerbacks everywhere. By the way, that Munderland that did nothing. This is his first real action right here. Thought I could pitch the ball and forgot there was nobody behind me. But there's a lot of cheap cards out there that are pretty good. I mean, I still like using Maurice Jones Drew's card, the uh, gold card. Whenever I have no halfbacks, I get mad. Or just get bored of using a running back, I'll throw him in. I'm also thinking about running a budget team and seeing what you guys think about it. I don't need a lot of subscribers to honestly run a budget squad. It's not that hard. I don't know what I was doing right there. 
I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna take your guys' feedback on the whole budget thing, whether I should do it or not. Because then I'll strap on gold on my other account, and we'll see how this works. Start from beginning to end, season to season. Um, as well, there will be another giveaway coming out in about three Thursdays. I'm gonna be giving away an elite card. I have no idea which card it is yet, but it will be going. No matter what card it is, it's gonna be more than 15 or 20k. It's not gonna be no cheap 3k card, because I don't believe in doing that to people. By the way, he finally did just score his first touchdown. Ooh, this game is uh, a lot different than most of my games. I mean, look at this. The Wildcat. Who uses the Wildcat? Except for me, apparently, because I find it funny to aggravate people when I use it. Look at that run. So close to getting in. So close. Oh, look at that. He went for that run out there. He had everyone there. I had A open the whole time, so I throw to B. I guess I forgot my alphabet. A comes before B. But, uh, now look at that score. It's 28-7. Time's just wasting away. Wasting away. And let's see what he can do here. And he finds someone. Nope. Go to sleep. DRC said no. Go to sleep. That's the playoff version, not the combine warrior, by the way. We got Landry back there, that nice combine warrior. Sitting out there. And I don't know what I did there. But... Thank God Fitzgerald tripped because I didn't think he could bur get burnt or burn Peterson. I don't know how I messed that up twice. Look at that. Oh, I missed. I'm not messing again. I'll miss once. Twice at most. The third time will never happen. And he's going to run the ball and he's going to run. Oh, I have a problem with hitting the hit stick randomly. I don't normally show this, guys, but this, this kid tried that pooch play. And this is what happens when you try it against me. It just does not work. Look at this. Calvin Johnson back there. That's that 94 again, guys. Break one tackle. Break two. My team's all up there. They're trying to dive at the back of Deshaun and Charles' jerseys. I like that play. I don't know about you. If you liked it, like the video, man. They come here. Look at that. He has some good trucking skills. I can't lie. He does find some nice trucks in here. Got that nice score of 35 to 14. Can we stop him here and just lay waste to the clock? That's a good question. And he's going to bomb that ball. And wow, did he just say no? No, you're not hitting me. Wow, I don't even know what happened. I just don't know. Oh, let's, let's have some more fun again, though. Let's, let's run the Wildcat again, just to aggravate him. Looks like they're gonna run a little wild. I'm gonna run it with Lynch this time. Look at this space. Nope. He overshot me. He gave me a lot of yards. I didn't click the truck stick quick enough. Lynch with an impressive run. And we're gonna run back to a play. You see what I'm doing? Because I'm bored and I like to show you guys. Look at that. I had him open all the whole time. It took me forever. That's Manti Teo again. Next gen middle linebacker. Catching the ball. She does not drop the passes. RG3 over the top with that nice dot. Give him back the ball. He's got about seven seconds left. Can he do anything? He throws a screen. I mean, did not expect it. But he also should not have expected to score. And let's see what he does here. Last play, he could have just let the clock run out. It's not like he's going to win. And that's what he does. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to catch you guys later. I got some stuff to do. He's got some nice trucking. Like, comment, subscribe. Later.